assistant coach of uh, Kenya Police Bullets, Hussein Abib. Uh, hard luck, you lost the game 2-1 to CBE. Uh, what can you generally say about the game? It was a very tough game, a lot of running, a, a lot of uh, uh, issues with the pitch, of course, because of the rain. But generally, as a coach, tactically, what can you say? Uh, to my side, I can say that uh, they are worthy opponent. They are very good on uh, field, uh, tactically, teamwork. Uh, they decided. Uh, your team is through to the semi-finals, and of course, it's the knockout stage next, which means a different ball game. How are you planning for this now? We are going back to the drawing board. Uh, we are going to work on it uh, to rectify the the problems and to find the solution for the next game. Briefly, the first game was a draw, the second game you won, the third one you have lost. Can you wrap up basically the whole performance? Because it's the first time that your team is performing at this level of tournament. What can you generally say about how the girls are faring? Because those are three games and there's another fourth game to come at the semi-final stage. Uh, what I can say is that uh, in every stage we have to work on uh, our te uh, technically and then we are going to make sure that uh, everything is going to be okay. We are going to, to make sure that uh, next time we come here, we are going to, to be better than this time. Your next opponent is Simba and Simba Queens. And uh, how do you look at that, looking at the few games that Simba has played? You have watched them play, you have had the chance to see them play. How do you envisage that encounter? Mm. Maybe the most, uh, the most important thing is that uh, when you go back to the drawing board, we are going to work on what we have seen and we are, we are going to approach the game differently. So that will be the most uh, thing that I can say for now. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. yeah.